Police say this video shows what sparked a beating outside an American Legion post in Arlington last month. The victim, a Navy veteran, Charles Hughes, is seen throwing coasters across the bar. This couple, arrested in the beating, now facing felony charges. Police say the drunken assault was around 1 a.m. on the Sunday before Memorial Day. When officers arrived, they found Hughes lying on the ground with blood running from his face. He had a broken nose, a broken eye socket, and other fractures. Channel 4's Chris Parento is learning more about the charges and this newly released release that is surveillance video. Chris. Mary, this all-new surveillance video from inside of the American Legion Post shows the moments leading up to this beating outside. They're highlighted. You see Charles Hughes throwing coasters at the lodges. They're down here on the bottom, just outside of frame in this camera angle, but they are clearly visible in other camera angles as they show the moments that lead up to this fight outside of the post. In the video, you can see Hughes and others throwing coasters at the bartender, trying to get her attention as she was talking to the lodges. After a few coasters are thrown, William Lodge is seen in the video pointing and yelling at Hughes. Hughes yells back at first before the bartender walks over and appears to yell at him. Shortly after that, Hughes gets up, says goodbye to a couple of women at the bar, and walks out. Shortly after that, less than 10 seconds later, William Lodge gets up, walks behind the bar, and out the same door, following him to the parking lot where the beating happens. A few others follow the two of them out the door and into the parking lot. Surveillance cameras only capture the two of them walking out, not the beating. William Lodge is charged with a second-degree felony for aggravated battery being held on $75,000 bond. He faces up to 15 years in prison. Terry Lodge is charged with a third-degree felony for battery on someone over the age of 65. Her bond is $50,000, and she faces up to five years in prison. No word yet on when either will be back in court to face these new charges. Tom? Thank you.